Took us there. Whenever you. literally me. Hi guys, Whitney here and welcome to another part of Let's Play The Sims 2. What part are we on? I want to say 16. I'm like losing track, but I'm pretty sure it's part 16. I'm officially on a break from school. It's only like a week break, so you know, it's not that exciting. It's not summer break, which isn't until July for me, by the way. So yeah, but anyways, I do get a little week break, so I am excited for that. So as you can see from that little machinima I made and everything, which was so fun to make, by the way, like uh, it, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, as you can see, we are here with Julie for this part, which I think is really exciting. We have yet to really, really explore Julie and stuff. You know, she's been kind of aloof in this Let's Play. She kind of keeps to herself. You know, she has a lot going on. Um, you know, being a teen mother and all of that. She just doesn't really have a lot of time, I think, to socialize. Like, she really doesn't. Like, you guys saw from her, you know, kind of, I did it like a day in the life thing in the beginning and it kind of shows what her life is like and it's pretty crazy busy and she just doesn't have time to you know to dedicate to socializing and stuff like that 
So I thought I would start off by kind of showing you guys her personality and all of that. So she's between sloppy and neat. She's very shy, which explains a lot of why she doesn't really, you know, socialize that much. She's a little more on the active side. Um, she's between serious and playful, and she's very nice. So, so yeah, and she's a, a cancer, her astrological sign. Um... And so her lifetime aspiration is to become chief of staff. She is a knowledge sim. And uh, yeah, so become chief of staff means she wants to become the highest in the medical career, which I think is really interesting because I've, I mean, I don't know if I've really done that that much with my sims before. So I think it'd be fun to have her be in the medical career and just have her, you know, she wants to be like a really important doctor. And that's just like her dream. And she really wants to go to college, but that's going to be kind of difficult with, you know, a baby. So I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. She might have to just work her way up without going to school and stuff. But, but yeah, she'd also really love to go into private school, but that ain't happening. So, so yeah, so she does work, uh, have school from, you know, nine to one. And then she has a job in the medical career as a nursing home attendant. She's like at the very bottom as a nursing home attendant. Glamorous, it's not, but it's a real job taking care of people in their time of need, and it's a foot in the door of the medical community. Impress the nurses with your bedside manner and see if you can't find your way into the hallowed halls of SimCity General. This reminds me of Grey's Anatomy because I've been binging it lately because I have never seen Grey's Anatomy. So I'm binging it on Netflix and like all of this medical stuff it just reminds me of Grey's Anatomy. But anyways, anyways, no spoilers. So yeah, so she has that from three to six. So she basically gets up, gets him fed, um, Blake, that is, gets him fed, you know, changes his diaper, whatever he needs. And then she goes to school and then she hires a nanny who tracks her schedule. So the nanny just comes whenever she's not home and, you know, which costs money. And we only have 3,000 smolians. Life is rough. Life is rough for her. Like for sure. It's not easy. Um, and then she comes home from school and then she instantly pretty much has to go to work. And then she comes home, finishes taking care of Blake, puts him to bed and then does her homework. And like usually just gives herself a quick meal to eat, like a TV dinner or something like she, you know, it's it's like pretty difficult. But something exciting about this is I think that um, Blake is actually going to become a toddler in this part. So he's having a birthday and we don't work today. So it's a perfect time to have like a little party for him and all of that. So let's go ahead and change his diaper because he's a screaming. Sorry, I felt like I talked for like a super long time just explaining everything. <laughs> But I felt like it needed to be done. He's so cute. I love them. Like, oh, Julie. She does not have, like, any romantic relationships. But whenever I was filming that machinima, she did invite this kid home from school. And she, like, made out with him. Because she's attracted to him, I guess, or something. I don't know. It says there's no relationship there. But they said goodbye. And she, like, kissed him. It was, like, so weird. <laughs> Let's give him a little cuddle. So cute. Oh, it's a rainy day this morning. And we'll go ahead and feed him a bottle. And then we gotta get ready for school. We might be a little late today. I don't know. I can't wait till she can like just be done with school. <laughs> Which uh, I do have Intinimator installed, by the way, in case you're wondering like, you know, how she's able to have a child as a teen and all of that. See if I can have her take a quick bath. I don't know. Ooh, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Yeah, no. What the heck is on fire? This weird tree thing. Okay, go to school. <laughs> so she is off to school. Not very much fun in her, and she also needs a shower really badly. <laughs> but look how cute he is. Ah, oh, so cute. Um, and yeah, this is the nanny taking a crap in our toilet. So yeah, that's her, Willow, Willow Darga. And uh, she ain't gonna wash her hands cause she's a nasty. But anyways, <laughs> you're nasty. Um, so yeah, oh, he loves this thing, that's so cute. Um, but anyways, so yeah, she's pretty much just gonna be at school till one o'clock. So I'm probably just gonna skip ahead to whenever she gets home. And I will see you guys then. All right, Julie is home from school. She has off of work today, thankfully. Um, I don't know what her grades are like. Uh, looks like she is currently a C student. 
So there's that. It's kind of hard to keep her mood up and stuff because, you know, she's constantly... Oh, she didn't finish her homework either. 99% girl, no wonder. No wonder. For real. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, I am going to have her go take finish that bath she was having since he's in his crib and he seems pretty content for now. And then have her do something, something fun. I don't know what though. Um... It would be nice if we had her have like a way to make money because right now it's just really difficult and I don't know if there's anything that she could really do to get money. Um, you know what we could actually have her do? If we have the money, we could have her sell pottery. Or, oh, it's so expensive. Oh, <laughs> and I think it costs money to make stuff too so i don't know if we have the money for that right now like the pottery wheel and all of that we just don't have the money <laughs> i wish we did but i would like to get her into sewing i think that would be that would be cool but um i guess we're just gonna get her an easel for now and that way she can just make some extra cash and stuff so i'm gonna go have her practice some painting oh i'm not in the mood Oh, okay. Never mind. Go ahead and watch TV, I guess. <laughs> That's like all you have in here. Um, I did show you guys her apartment before, I think, I believe. I changed some stuff up, but but yeah. Go ahead and watch some kids tube, like some SpongeBob SquarePants or something. <laughs> all right. Um, let me see. She works like the rest of the weekend. That sucks. She does need a cleaning skill point as well. Um, so yeah, in Teenimator is a mod that you can just have your teen sims get pregnant and you can add all kinds of stuff into it. And you can also make it so once they turn a certain age when they're teenagers, they don't have to go to school anymore or something like that, I think. I might add that in there. Like eventually she graduates high school or something. I'm not sure yet though. But, but yeah. Um, what are you interested in? Ooh, yummy channel gets you up. Okay. Oh, no, 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 baby. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. So sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, the thing about the Intimator mod is it's, it's so hard. Like, it is so hard to have a teen sim raise a child and go to school and have a job. <laughs> like, it is impossible. Like, it is so difficult. I mean, which it is difficult, I would imagine, in real life. So, you know, it's... I guess it's realistic, but it is, like, damn hard to make money in this game uh, when you have a teen sim. So, it's going to be interesting. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to cuddle him, play with him a bit. Uh, we need to get our social up and stuff anyways. So, so yeah. Apparently, our baby doesn't count. Like, what? <laughs> um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get a birthday cake. So it's six o'clock and he's gonna age up. So, um, where is it? I forget. I go. I talked a little bit. I totally forget. Party. There it is. It's in party. All right. We'll get a. We'll get a blue one. This giant birthday cake for this tiny little child. <laughs> let's go ahead and bring him to the birthday cake. Oh, this is such a big moment. Oh, Blake. He's like turning four, I guess. That's what that means. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, you can age up now. <laughs> Sometimes when babies age up, it glitches, but... Oh, no, no, no. Here he comes. Here it is. Oh, nice outfit <laughs> what is what is this what is life <laughs> all right i am gonna give him a little a little makeover let's go ahead and change his appearance he just grew from a baby to a toddler like what don't have the cake no don't have the cake go uh change his appearance oh my gosh i keep clicking the wrong things okay look at him i can't believe he's a little toddler like oh this just got 10 times harder <laughs> Didn't it? I think it did. But yeah. I'll go ahead and change his appearance up a bit. I know that his dad, even though he's not in the picture and he totally 
stitched them. Um, I do know that he had blonde hair and I kind of want to, I think I want to give him the blonde hair just so he kind of looks like both of them because he has her eyes. He has his mommy's eyes. So I might change his hair to blonde. Uh, let's change these eyebrows. <laughs> Dumb brows though. On fleek. Definitely. Do people still say that? I still say that. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, uh, let's make them blonde. There we go. And um, just these are fine, I guess. He has her freckles and stuff. Like, he's so cute. All right, let's see what hairs we have. Wow, I didn't even know I had this, but this is adorable. I have not really looked too much at my hairs I have <laughs> for toddlers, but it's so cute. I love the little the little beanie. Um, let me see. This could take me. This could take me a while. We really need to get him a new outfit because uh, this just I don't I'm not feeling it. I'm there. We go. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. You know what his um, outfit reminds me of is once again Beauty and the Beast, the movie, because in the beginning or at the end, I think he's like dancing and he's wearing an outfit like that. Anyways, <laughs> um, you know I actually kind of like some of the hairs that came with the game, like not custom content. And I have a lot of custom content, so yeah, that's why it's taking a while. But uh, I might use one of those. Not not this, but like, um, oh, not that. <laughs> um, like this is so freaking cute to me. Like it's a little it's a little hat, and this is supposed to be like a frog, I think. This is I don't know what that's supposed to be a bear or something. But it is like so freaking cute. So I think I'm going to give him give him that maybe this one the brown one and that will be his hair and uh let's see for just his everyday we'll give him this one you know very normal normal hair i guess <laughs> average and yeah um so yeah i guess that's all i need to do for his makeover really um like face wise <laughs> hair wise and all that stuff but he is such a little cutie oh my gosh he is so cute <laughs> he wants to learn to talk and walk so uh we'll go ahead and lock one of those in i don't think we have enough <laughs> to get like any aspiration rewards because it'd be so awesome if we had smart milk because we'd be able to kind of you know do that a lot faster um have him learn stuff but it's okay so let's go ahead and I really want her to just go, um, hmm. I wonder if like, can you ask somebody to babysit? <laughs> I don't remember if you can or not, but, um, I don't know how that works really, but we're just going to go, uh, we're going to walk to a community lot. Um, yeah, I'll hire a nanny. So hiring a nanny. All right. And we're going to go to, uh, where are we? Just downtown. And we'll go to, we'll just walk to, are there any other clothing stores? I thought there were. I'm sure there are. I'm just like the corner shops. There we go. All right, here we are at the corner shops. We just walked here really quick to get some outfits for him. Um, <laughs> nothing to, you know, just going to get some everyday, maybe some PJs, depending on what he has, and some outerwear. If he even needs outerwear, it's like summertime. He probably won't. But, but yeah, um, I would love to change up her clothes as well, but we don't really have the money to spend money on ourselves right now. So, oh my God, this is what she looked like as a little girl. She's so cute. <laughs> um... But yeah, oh my god, there's a little Halloween dress. See, I forgot I got some of this stuff. Oh my god, I can't wait till, till Brittany and Kayla have kids too. Like, I am so excited. <laughs> so it is summertime for them. I think I'm going to get him... Mm, we could get him this one or this one. I think I'm going to get him that one. And then we could get him some overalls, like play clothes. I think these are so cute. They came with uh, free time and they are adorable. Like, oh. So cute. <laughs> I love, I love baby clothes and little kid clothes. They're just, 
I could shop for babies like all day, <laughs> like more than myself. I'd rather go shopping for like baby clothes than clothes for myself. That's just me. But yeah, I love this dress. Anyways, so um, right now he has pink, which I mean is fine. Like, trust me, I my son actually has a pair of purple and pink pajamas because he picked them out special and he likes them. So I'm like, sure, whatever. It's a color. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I will get him. Oh, no, I think I want to get him. Um, like these little bears, like <laughs> it looks like a little bear outfit. It's so cute. It has like a little tail and stuff. Oh my god, I'm so tempted. I will. I'll get him that. Because it's freaking cute. <laughs> Look at our monies. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. We're, we, we need money, guys. Like, bad. We can barely pay our rent right now. Like, it's a bad situation. Um, he has outerwear. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of contemplating, like, what to do about it. Like, should we... What am I doing? Go home. Um, should we try to like, like, you know, I'm sure she's contemplated, like, should I drop out of school and try to like find myself a better job or should I, you know, she's probably thinking a lot about her life and like, oh, look at their pictures. So cute. Um, but yeah, I'm sure she's contemplating life a lot. Like, you know, if only I could go to college and like give him, you know, just a better life than this, <laughs> but it's really difficult. And I I don't know what's going to happen. You know, right now things seem dim and things just seem really tough and hard for her. But, you know, life has a way of turning around, you know. So I think life will definitely turn around for her. Give me suggestions in the comments below. Like, I've even thought to myself about, like, moving her in with Brittany and Kayla if they do get a house and they can, like, help her out and let her live with them till she gets on her feet and stuff. Like, I've thought about that. Um, I've thought about, you know, her going to college or something um, and having, like, moving in with Brittany and Kayla and her going to college and them watching Blake for her. I've thought about all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so I don't know how it's going to go, but, but yeah. So let me know what your suggestions are for Julie, like what you'd like to see happen with Julie. Um, no, he's not going to bed. No, I want to change him. That sounded so mean. He looks so cute. Oh my God. He is so cute. Okay, I guess we'll let him sleep and I'll change his appearance another time. Let's go have some cake because this is our this is our diet. She doesn't really have the time to learn to cook. I mean, she still has to finish her homework tonight. And oh god, it's just a lot, you know? I would love her to go to school because realistically, she would not be able to get like chief of staff job that she wants um by not without going to school, without going to college. So that's a way we could explore university in this LP is having her go to college. But I don't know. Like, I'm so, it's so open in the air for me. And I kind of like that. Like, there are so many different ways this LP could go and all the different characters could go. And I just think it's really cool. Uh, what, who's calling me? Hello? Hello? This is the guy that she kind of like randomly kissed. And I was like, what? <laughs> I wonder if, um, yeah, let's knock on the door. No, I'm staying here. I have a child. He's, he does kind, does kind of look like a bad boy. Like he has like this really edgy style. He wears like leather jackets with like, I don't know. He just looks like a bad boy. <laughs> um, I love how she just like left her kid. Brittany's not home. Okay. What about, what about Kayla though? I really want them to become friends. I'll have to work on it maybe off camera even if I have to. But we'll see. Micah. Maybe she could get to know Micah better. I mean, he does have a child, but I don't know. We'll focus on their relationship and stuff um, over time and see, you know, her and Brittany and Kayla's relationship. I'm sure. I'm sure it will grow and everything because right now, right now they're kind of close, but they're not quite friends yet. So... I'm sure it will happen. Let's put that up there and finish our homework. Girl, I, you've got to finish that homework though. <laughs> Why is it so difficult for you? Okay. We're going to watch a comedy movie. Oh, somebody is awake. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Blake is awake. <laughs> hey, that rhymed. Okay. I need to stop. Let's go ahead and, uh, 
plan his everyday and his PJ. All right. Look at her social. I feel so bad. Like, she needs some good friends. I think she just needs, like, some help, you know? She needs help. Um, uh, let me see. Oh, my God. So cute. <laughs> we'll put him in this. And put him in that. <laughs> and I'll show you guys, like, what his everyday will look like now. Especially with that hat. It is so freaking cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> he is just the absolute cutest little doll. Like, I just... I love his little freckles. He's just the cutest. I just, I love them so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, what does he need? We are going to need to get stuff like a potty chair. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let me see. Like this. There we go. We already have a bunch of toys for him over here he can play with. But uh, let's go ahead and, oops. Go potty train him. Speaking of, we're gonna about to pee ourselves. How ironic. <laughs> Hopefully he'll go. I love toddlers in The Sims too. I really do. Oh, you didn't do squat. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. What is his attitude, I wonder? Does he have an attitude? He's grouchy and outgoing. Like, total opposite of his mom. <laughs> Alright. We'll go ahead and put him in his chair. Who the hell is howling? This dog hates the stereo, but yet she keeps coming back. Like, I don't understand. Um, let's go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could serve dinner. We could serve. Oh, gosh. What does she even know how to make? Mac and cheese. Oh my god, it's two at twelve in the morning. <gasps> Just give him some food, cause we gotta, we gotta, uh, yeah. We have to like finish doing our homework and get up for school in the morning. So, <laughs> um, yeah, let's empty this. Do you guys see how crazy this is? Like, I should have ended this part by now, but I'm too like focused on this. Look at his little sandals. My son had a pair of sandals like those when he was like two, and they were so cute. Oh my gosh. I love, I really love toddlers in this game. <laughs> um, okay, so he can go uh, play with whatever he wants, whatever his little heart desires. Um, and she really needs to do this homework, like, very badly. At least as much as she can do. 33%. So she's going to start falling behind in school. So she needs help. She needs someone to help her with life because right now it is just, it's a lot, you know. Um, all right, let's, um, can we play with him? Let's see. Let's go ahead and snuggle him. And we will play peekaboo. Get her social up and her fun. Put him in his crib. And I might actually have her ditch school so she can do her homework because she has no energy and huh, it's crazy, guys. I told you, like, it is seriously difficult to have a teen mom. It, like, it is very hard. Um, at least in The Sims 2. I haven't really done it in any of the other games, but Sims 2, definitely difficult. But I am going to end this part here. I hope you guys liked it, even though it was crazy. But we finally got to see Julie's life. And it really makes sense why she doesn't really socialize with anybody because... I mean, really, she doesn't have the time. Like, she can, like, the only socializing she gets is with her child, which is fine. But, you know, it'd be nice if she had some friends that she could depend on. And like I said, she really wants to go to college. Like, it's her dream. And she just wants to give him a good life. And there's just so many ways, like I said, this LP could go with her and stuff. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of like should happen with her and everything so yeah definitely give me suggestions down below and if you enjoyed this part give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and i'll see you all in the next part bye guys